Hey guys, Neff here. And today we are looking at a multi-lock wannabe called the HQ lock. Uh, it does have pin-in-pin pin design for the key pins and drivers. Uh, looks like they even copied MTL's uh, key design there. Looks a lot like the Interactive or Interactive Plus, you can see that. So we're going to go ahead and chuck it up in the vise and see if it's anything like an MTL at all. All right, guys, we've got her chucked up. Let's see the key here. Works great. We're going to be using this real big wiper insert for tension and then a wiper insert flag for picking. Two's binding. We already know that that's the max lift. Oop. Little click there with some core movement. Three is binding now. Click there, core movement. We'll click on four. Nothing on five. Let's go back. Let's check two because I didn't put that one all the way up. Still not ready to max out yet. Little baby click on three. Sometimes you just need to pulse them a little bit. There we go. Click on three. A little pulse action. There we go. Now we got three set correctly. Lots of core movement. Once you figure out the tricks to these MTL style locks, it's it's really not too bad. Doing one. Counter rotation. Got one set, but lost our false set, so let's pulse. There we go. Just had to pulse a little bit to get one completely set there. Now we're in a super tight or super deep false set. And probably just looking at inner key pins now. All that is is a matter of placement, making sure you're hitting the key pins and all that. So one, two. Checking to. I get to trying to move so fast on video that I start shaking and not hitting stuff correctly. But as you can see, that bad boy is open, and I just whoa! I just threw the camera. All right, there we go. Let's get it gutted for you. Alrighty guys, here's what we got going on. So in the plug, it is only a four pin. I was counting up to five and I was like, well, that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right. Now I know why there's only four. Um, you can see there's, I think that's like key control, um, but it doesn't want to come out. I tried to hit it with my pick and it wouldn't come out. So I'm not really a hundred percent sure about that. Let's take a look at the key. I don't see a dimple in it. So maybe that is just drill protection. It doesn't seem to interact with anything. So I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, and then we've got our multi-lock style pin and pins here. So you can see we've got spooled in one, standard two, spooled in three and four. Which you could tell with the false sets we were in. Um, and then on the key pins we've got standard, spooled, spooled, standard. And then your internals 
inside the cylinder itself just some big round springs so definitely not as hard as your standard mtl interactive because obviously it's one less pin and all that um but uh, an interesting lock for cheap um if you want to get into the whole multi-lock style thing or practice it a little bit so thanks for watching guys any comments questions suggestions or feedback i'm happy to hear it please like and subscribe y'all have a great day